Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do some more coverage about putting on the plastic on the greenhouse. Uh, I did it a couple of videos ago just touching upon it briefly but I wanted to give a bunch more details on how it's been going up. These videos are supported by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are TrueAquaponics.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, GlassBottleOutlet.com, and GrowPockets.com. Thanks for your support. As I've put up some of these pieces of plastic, I've honed my technique and made a few things to make my life a lot easier. The first is I started pre-drilling all the holes in the plastic guides here. Um, first of all, I'm able to center them in here by just using a jig and keeping it centered. Also, I made the hole big enough where the screw could just slide in. I was having some problems as it was going in. The threads were catching against the side of the plastic and really flipping this up. And then it would make it difficult to guide it against that round conduit. So by adding that in, it's uh, made my installation go much quicker. So this is a good rainy day project to put all these screw holes in. The main reason why I did those centered screw holes is that the extrusion of these pieces has this center post in it. So as you start driving the screw through it, it actually deflects off the center post and then drives in crooked. And then once it hits crooked down in here, you have this metal conduit and it hits against the side of that conduit and deflects it off even worse and then starts moving this track all over the place. Really what they should have done is manufactured this so that it had uh, two extra parts in here and the hollow was in the center. So that way when you drove the screw through, it would just guide itself perfectly square right into the round conduit. To get things started, I am putting the track on this side and anchoring it in. And to make sure that the plastic can run over the ridge of this, I'm using my official spacer stone to put a gap in so that the track, I can just set it, rest it on here. So that distance is, um, it's about one stone width. It's really about uh, two centimeters, or a little less than an inch. After that's installed, I then remove these screws so that way, just like this one, the track can come out and I'll be able to get the plastic up and into this. And of course, safely place my stone so I don't lose it. One thing the manufacturer recommends is to take these corners and round them over. What happens when the plastic is going into the track, if there's any type of a, an angle on it, it will dig in right into this part and it will tear the plastic. And of course I did find that out the hard way and ruined one section of plastic I was pulling it through. Um, I was really running into problems with the plastic coming off the roll and then entering into the, the track. So I've solved that problem and it's really made my life a whole lot easier by uh, feeding the plastic through. So what I've made up is this lovely guide which essentially plugs into the track that I already have here. I made up these metal spikes and they're used to help orient the two sections together. So you just sort of line up the holes, get this plastic out of the way and slide it into place. the same thing on the other side. And then bring in my roll of plastic, get it all lined up just right. And feed it into the track. I also add a little WD-40 into it time I run it through just to keep things nicely lubricated. The 
the other problem that I've been having as the plastic pulls up if the spacing is more than four feet on center just from the imperfections in the conduit it really starts to, to pinch as it comes through so to solve that it's actually a very simple solution is just to put a pipe clamp on on this and pull them together a little bit and that makes a huge difference getting rid of the friction Now that the plastic is in, I can slide on the other tracks. One thing you might notice in the plastic is this slight rippling effect once we get near the bottom. Uh, this isn't the fault of the plastic, it's actually me installing the hoops not quite right. It's sort of hard to see it on camera, but if you look at this hoop, as you go back and forth, it's really not in parallel with the back side, which is just enough to throw that plastic out of whack when you put everything and pull it through. Originally I thought the previous owner said that this was a 144 foot long greenhouse but when I got to the end I had an extra four feet of purlin and I was going to cut it off and got lazy last fall and didn't bother to do it and then I did have an extra set of hoops so I decided that I'm going to add the extra four feet on and take a little time, dug out the holes, and today I'm gonna put this extra set on. So this is the base plate for the end wall and I'm setting it up so it will be level with the finished floor so I need to bring in some more uh, sand for this area and then it will anchor into here and I'm going to put a couple holes in here and drive some cleats down into the ground too that way if the wind blows too hard against the end wall it won't uh, buckle this lower section in. And the goal was to uh, keep this level with the ground so that way when I have the door in here I can still wheel carts in and out without having to, to bump over this thing.
wanted to figure out where the center stud for this end wall is going to be, so really the easiest way is just to drop a plumb bob, wait for the wind to die down, and just mark the center line. And then this will be either side of the stud. And then each stud is going to be uh, four feet apart on center. So we'll get that marked out. Trying to get this done in a place. It looks like my electrical work is going to be done uh, sometime next week. So they need a wall to hang the uh, sub panel on. It's always exciting trying to get studs to match up to weird shapes, but the easiest way I've found is just to use a plumb bob. That will give you a, a nice straight connection and then draw out a mark where it's going to intersect with that. On these posts that aren't really important, I'll just use some decking brackets to anchor it into the anchor it into the hoops, and then the taller posts that will have the fans and whatnot. I do have some better brackets that are a little bit stronger that will support the weight of all the fans. So what the plan for the end wall is to put the tracks onto the studs, slide the solar wrap in, wrap it around the tubing, and then put the main track over that to sandwich that solar wrap in between the tubing and the track to, to hold it into place. My electrician is supposed to be coming out this week and we have to have call before you dig come even though there's nothing buried out here so everything has to get marked out properly. We're supposed to be getting a new telephone pole for our electrical service. This one is quite old and Eversource says it needs to get replaced before they hang a new transformer on it. So as you can see from behind me, the end walls aren't quite complete. I just did the first little section so we could get our electrical installed. Um, I ordered the fans for the exhaust of the greenhouse and when I ordered them I got a 48 inch version which is fine and it meets my airflow requirements however I wasn't thinking properly and I thought 48 inches was going to be the stud spacing for them it's actually the blade size so the box for the fan is substantially larger I think it's 54 56 inches so it won't fit between the studs so I'm going to wait for that equipment to come in and then uh, frame up the rest of the end walls to fit around the uh, fans properly. I've also been doing a lot of multitasking with this setup. So you may see in the videos that some things look more done than others and it jumps around a little bit, even from going from winter to uh, summertime. 
I'm trying to keep these so that each video covers a certain segment. So even though I'm multitasking, like I've been building the deep water culture beds, you can see those are right here. I'm not touching on those yet. And those videos will be coming along. So you just sort of have to be patient for those on when I finish up a bed and then can piece all the videos together. Once again, I appreciate your support and thanks for watching.